Our story today is called The Night Before the Hundredth Day of School, written by Natasha Wing and pictures done by Mindy Pierce. Twas the night before the hundredth day when I started to worry. What'll I'll bring into school? I need something in a hurry. Maybe a hundred socks? Already most kids have thought of their stuff. What are you bringing? Flip has a hundred photos of his new puppy Fluff. Paul says he's bringing pencils. Carter's got his cars. Jane has 100 jelly beans. Samantha, 100 gold stars. So I got out my dinosaurs, put them all in a line. When I counted them up, there were only 49. I dumped out my piggy bank, pennies, nickels, and dimes. I counted them twice and came up short both times. When what with my wondering eyes should I see? No one else will bring ants. No one but me. That night, while I nestled all snug in my bed, visions of ants, ants, and more ants danced in my head. The very next morning, the big day was here. Hooray for the hundredth day of the school year. So away to the school bus, I flew in a flash, then hopped off on the sidewalk and made a mad dash. Our class was eyeing a huge cake. It smelled oh so sweet. Share time first, said Mr. Stein. Then after, we'll eat. Mabel went first with 100 marbles in a can. Shauna showed her sugar cubes. Then came the twins, Stan and Dan. Jocasta had 100 names on her cast. And all of a sudden, it was my turn. At last. I walked to the table at the front of the room. But I tripped on a marble and landed. Kaboom! The lid, it popped open. Ants came running out. Here's one, there's one, kids started to shout. One by one, my ants marched straight toward the snack table. Don't step on them. They're going for the cake, shouted Michael and Mabel. I headed them off with crumbs from my lunch. Go back to the farm, I told the whole bunch. Sixty, seventy, eighty. I counted through ninety-nine. Where was the last one? <laughs> On me, said Mr. Stein. <laughs> now that share time is over and the last ant is in. It's time for our party. Let the celebration begin. Are you ready for cake? We all shouted, yes. Then we blew out the candles. How many? Just guess. The end. Thank you so much for listening to our story today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to push the like button and click subscribe.